You may now kiss your bride. Did you miss me? Yeah. <laughs> Ready to make love some? They found love after lockup. Mm. Mm. What's the this thing? Now they're committed for life. I'm like, late. What am I going to do? You're going to have a baby. How much did it cost? 28000 It was a surprise. Surprise, more bills. I'm getting ready to get us a new house. But we just keep on borrowing money. We're not going to get anywhere. You don't want to get married right now. A part of me wants to wait till after the baby's born. It's a boy! So is the wedding back on? I didn't say that. We're pregnant. I don't want you working anymore. I am going to be resigning. I don't even know where you get your money to be supporting her and a baby and seven other kids. Can we get up on Tennessee 10? She kind of implied like I'm some two-bit little whore. What's up with you, Eric? Got to get divorced. So you with a madman. You're currently separated and you're trying to get a divorce. Uh -huh. Do you love Heather? He's stalling on filing paperwork because he don't want to lose his wife. That's Amber calling her. I Why would you even call else? her? That's the heartbeat. They said the baby's fine, but because of my liver, it could be fatal. Well, not the this is the hardest thing I've ever met in my life. She acting with a snobby attitude. He should have met his girlfriend last. How you doing, baby? We're being followed. I feel like it was your sister. I mean, who else can it be? Was that you following me? It was. I was talking to this CO while I was in prison. This is who was chasing me last night. Like, this is what I'm talking about. You the only girlfriend I got. I'm trying to get a ring for my girl. You better hope you're not with a bitch. <laughs> playing with me. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. You ignored them for years, and then you go and create another kid to be around. Oh, yes. And the girl. We were just like your tryout family. I want you to fix it. Congratulations, guys. This is Adeline. What is love? God, love. <laughs> you got a man friend? Blaine used to sell drugs for me. I just like getting some favors for you, you know? Are you with Blaine or not? Yes. That's all I need to know. Woo! What time is this meeting? Eight o'clock. We have a little bit of time. We can't walk a lot because, like, our feet are going to start hurting. Well, out of all the shoes you got in the closet. <laughs> they're cute. Not as cute as you. Aw, you're so sweet. <laughs> Oh, look, paint store, paint store. Blaine and I have been dating for eight months. And, you know, once you get past that honeymoon period and things just get, like, you know, kind of a little dull. Yeah, that hasn't really happened. <laughs> what if I want to paint the living room pink? Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> we made the decision to buy a new place and to fix it up and to put all of our money into it because this was an investment for us as a family. I've done over six years in the federal penitentiary. All I want is to be happy and, you know, enjoy my life. Are you nervous about today? No, I don't want there to be a reason to be nervous. You know, it's nice that we're actually going to go to a lawyer about something besides my criminal cases for once. I'm just excited to start my new life with you. Me and you both. Finally had the woman of my dreams. I've always had a thing for her. And ever since, I let her know how I truly felt. It's like a magnet and metal. I mean, we're just stuck together. Oh, my God, Blaine, we have to go. You're supposed to be helping me watch the time. Come on. I've done a lot of bad things in my past. And considering my life's coming together like I've always wanted to, just slightly nervous on letting Lindsay find out. I just hope this ain't going to be a time that comes back and bites me in the butt. We're fine. We're here. How you doing? Good. Good to see you again. All right, guys, so what's happening? I guess I'd like to get an update on my charges. All right. Are you aware of what all you are charged with? Yes. You have two indictments here. These are two problems. In 2016, you got two counts. First count is possession of methamphetamine, a tenth of gram, but less than two. Count two, possession of a 38 uh, handgun, being a prior convicted felon. Now, you also have 
an indictment alleging that you have possession of hydrocodone on the same day. Now, to make matters a little worse, based on at least two prior convictions, you have been indicted as a habitual offender, which means that you are subject to the maximum penalty per that crime. So potentially you're looking at 19 years day for day. All right, so. I, I, I didn't even know about the habitual charge. Did you know you were charged as a habitual? Yeah. And you forgot to mention it? Like that just didn't come up in conversation? Like, hey, my bad, I forgot. Well, I mean, you knew I had charges. I mean, I never really was asked what they all were. I didn't I would... think I had to ask. I mean, it's not not telling you. I mean, I... No, no, it's not telling you. It's lying by admission. I'm sorry. A habitual charge is basically being charged as like a career criminal. It's showing that you have shown consistent, repetitive criminal charges and that the system thinks you need a harsher punishment than what the average person would get. This is the difference in five years and 20 years. This is the difference of 25% and mandatory time to serve. The main thing, too, that I'm, I'm somewhat concerned about is the fact that there was a warrant for you missing court. You have warrants? Well, they was want me to go back to the county jail after the completion of rehab. And I wasn't going. Is that why you didn't want to go buy and TC out? Because you told me that you had unpaid fines. When you said unpaid fines, did you really mean I have warrants? Hello? TC in jail. We got a cash bond, but I can't go down there and bond him out because I got warrants and Blaine's got unpaid fines. I wasn't about to let him get me yammed up. I can't with you right now. Like, I really, really can't with you right now. Like, this is so I love Lindsay with all my heart, and I really feel bad. I didn't discuss this with her, but I didn't want to jeopardize the relationship we ended up developing. Uh, well, I'm sorry to have to add the one last little caveat here. Um, She's Money, as in it's going to take 15000 to me before I lift a finger on this. OK. Okay, $15,000? $15, I want you to understand, I've got to have that amount of money because it's going to take that amount of work because of the seriousness of all these charges. I'm so hot right now. <laughs> like... That's... I, I'm, I'm... <clears throat> like, when do we need to be coming up with 15? Like, what is the time frame on this? Like... Soon. Don't let the stress get to you. I'm going to get it figured out. Calm down. Fine, are you serious? It's not that Blaine has these charges. It's the fact that he's been lying to me. He's keeping things from me. What God knows what else he's lying about right now, because obviously I don't trust the word he says. OK. Yep. Where are you going? Thank you so much, Tyler. <laughs> I just don't understand, like. We come in here get us for a little birthday gift. All right, we got and that. A birthday gift. Oh, uh, welcome back to Cleveland gift. Do you have any uh, like scales or anything yeah, like yeah, weight scales? <laughs> Um, Derek, how much do you plan on spending on her? It's not really the price I'm going to get her son nice. That's all. Just so, make up for it. Make uh, up for what? You? What did you do? I had sex with another girl. Um. So candles is worth that. I was unfaithful to Monique because our relationship was in the gray area. Like, I didn't feel like we was in a relationship. I was wrong for that. I shouldn't be cheating. I shouldn't be stepping out. This one right here good. Right. I like this. Man, we need more than a candle. Have a no, we're going to get some flowers, too. We're going to get some flowers. Since Monique been back in Chicago, been talking every day, texting, laughing. Like, we, we almost back to that good place where I was going to propose. I haven't seen Derek in, like, a month. And how do you feel? Like, are you excited to see him? I mean, I'm excited to get to the bottom of a lot of things. Are you able to, like, forgive him and let the past be the past, or what? I mean, we just taking it day by day. I mean, he wanted me to come out here because he claimed he want to fix things and work things out. Derek had sex with another woman. 
I just feel disgusted. But he wants me to give him another chance, and he's slowly been breaking me down because I do have a soft spot for him. He was fresh out of prison, not really knowing what to do, how to act. He was confused. I mean, I know he loves me. I know his heart. I'm going to be open and try to give him another chance. So how did you catch him? Well, because you know I got the phone of my name for him, so I check his call and his text log online. That's doing too much. Yeah. If you trust him, you trust him. You ain't got to do all of that. I don't, so that's why I did it. Like, as soon as I left, like, he just really out here just showing his ass. Talking to other women, basically cheating. Wow. Talking to other women, he just got out. Right. I know, that's crazy. Oh, child. <laughs> do you plan on being faithful? Yeah, from when? Here. From here on, from here on out. <laughs> oh, wow. I just hate that relationship. Yeah, I don't hate it. Hate is a strong word. I kind of dislike it. They're two different types of people, two different heights. Not like, compatible. I don't like relationships when the guy is shorter than the woman. I just hate Monique. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Monique has to have 40s put together. Man, shut look, up. Look, no, I even got to Wait, 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 I got a question. One for one nipple, the other one for the other. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? No, I even got to get something like this. What's going on? Where you at? I just made it. I'm close by. My sister said, what's up? Both of them. I don't know about that, hey. I hear you. Wow. Yes, yeah, everything wow. cool. They can't believe. Like... She said hoes. No, no, she did. I thought she said hoes. No, she, she did. Said no, she did. No, no, she did. No, no, she did. No, she did. No, I did. No, she did. Look, look. She man. definitely said no, she, she said hoes. I said hey. No, she did. No, she did. I said hey. So they disrespected me already. Like, now I see how it's really going to be. Like, nothing's changed since last time with your sisters. Everything going to be cool. Come on, man. Y'all are doing too much. It's all good. We here. We we you know. I'm here. I'm waiting on you. All right. So what are we doing tonight? Cause I'm not dealing with no craziness. It's gonna be a surprise. All right. I can't wait. You know I got some making up to do. I'm gonna make make you happy. I know a lot happened, but I want told you to come back. You want came back. If we want gonna make up and make things right. Well, I'm just gonna be mean. Yeah. Only how this gonna work is if we. Trust each other right now. I feel like we building, we rebuilding. That's all it is. We rebuilding, we rebuilding the trust. Yeah, I hear you. Well, see you later. Oh, right, I love you. What did he say? He said he want to talk to me, work things out, and I got some things I need to talk to him about too. I feel like Derek is doing everything he possibly can to make me feel comfortable in this relationship. He basically wants me to trust him again. We'll see how it goes. It's a much needed visit, but there's something that I have been keeping from Derek that I've been waiting to see him in person to tell him. You know, you know how you get when it comes to him. Right. You'll forget about everything. I'm definitely not gonna fall for it. I don't trust him fully. Shouldn't you really trust him before getting pregnant? If this relationship did not work out, I'd be devastated. That's all right. Puppy just irritates me. Weren't they just drug dealers? That's not what I told you. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah. I'm done. I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. done. I'm you done. said it. You said it. I'm done. Well, then we get done. Done. done with this. You can f***ing go with them. Well, where are we going? We are going to self-defense class. Self-defense class? Yep. Are you serious or are you joking? No, I'm, I'm sure very I'm serious. I can show you how to fight your fears. I can make all the signs come clear. I don't know what I'm more excited to see, the kids doing it, or for you, a grown man, because I know you're going <laughs> to be just like the kids. The last few months have been crazy. You know, getting married in jail, my husband finally coming home and getting reacclimated back into the house, to now me being pregnant. How do you feel about it, babe? Me? No, me. He said babe. Yeah, I wasn't sure what he said. <laughs> Telling my mom about the baby was not easy at all. What is the plan? The 
plan is to just leave it in God's hands. <laughs> I'm out of here. I can't believe this. Even though my mom was a little upset, I'm her daughter. She just wants to see me be happy. She's looking out for my best interest. I really would like to put all of this behind us. What are some of the stuff we're going to learn in self-defense? Discipline. Maybe how to throw a punch correctly. I know how to throw a punch correctly. I don't I think just, so. No, I don't have no power behind it. Bro, I'm going to tell you something that I learned in life, Santana. Once you whip one dude's ass, everybody else is going to, they're going to chill out. It's, it was like that in prison. Hi, Welcome. how's it going? I'm Justine. John. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, How sir. You doing, man? Uh, tell me a little bit what's going on. What brings you guys here? You no, know, they've been experiencing a little bullying, so I just wanted to teach them a little of the foundation of defending themselves. I just want my kids to know that they can stand on their own, too. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. This definitely builds confidence. So, first off, we gotta get you guys in the proper gear. So let's let's get started. Almost every other day, I'm getting a call from the school about my son Santana. They're not letting him sit at the lunch table. Kids are not being nice to him. There you go. Our family dynamic is definitely changing right now. My children are not used to having a male presence in the home. Michael is not used to having three children running around that are not biologically his. So I'm hoping today, with self-defense, it'll, you know, bring our family closer together as a unit. All right, guys, you look good. We're like competition ready. Left hand is one, all odd numbers. Right hand is two, okay, all even numbers. All right, let's go. So your jab, it's your one. You're throwing it right out in front of your face, keeping your chin tucked in the shoulder. One, two, one, two. <laughs> hands up, keep your hands up. <laughs> what was like the worst fight you've ever gotten in? Yeah. I got jumped by a few dudes, and one of them actually stabbed me in my penis. It's not cool. It's, it's a very tough environment, you know? When are you planning on telling people? You can tell his family how and when he wants to. You know what I mean? I'm not sharing Maria's reaction about my pregnancy with my mom right now. Me and Justine are having a baby. Can we get a paternity test? You know how I feel about that. Who do you think you are? Maury Popovich? My mother would go off and probably go in on Mike so hard that it would just start more family drama, and I do not need that right now. Love you all. Mm. Why do you look so down? I'm nervous, like, how is this going to go? Is he going to be good now and then not down the road? Like, I think those things, and it bothers me. I mean, he's good with the kids, but I don't trust him fully. Those are my kids. <laughs> Shouldn't you feel like you really, really trust him before getting pregnant? It's different. Like, that's his kid. Remember how? The last one used to be one way with his kids and then different with Kylie. Yeah. You know, everyone always wants to be like, oh, it's so good to see somebody doing something with the kids. But for me, it's like a double-edged sword because it brings up a lot of old stuff for me. It brings up where I went wrong in my past. It brings up my mistakes. If I would have chose better, they wouldn't be 13, 17, and 9 finally getting that attention. Do you know what I mean? I knew Justine was going to have the issue of trusting Mike. She's afraid to let him in in a positive way because she's never had that type of relationship. Come here. I'm sorry. I have a lot riding on this relationship, and not just me, but my children also. Hands up. Hands up. Right by your face. So if this relationship did not work out, I just don't know what I would do. I'd be devastated. What is that? It's a sex swing. Baby's asleep. I'm literally sitting here in a sex swing, and you're just like not even turned on at all. You know, I got a baby, and I'm and I'm trapped, and you don't have to try anymore. Who called you? It's one of my friends. We're about to have a baby together. You said a lie. I ain't got time for this b Yeah, bye, Felicia.
since getting married and having a newborn baby. It's been a really big transition for me. It's not really the life that I was used to before I went to prison. I was usually getting high somewhere. Now being clean is a big thing for me. You know, having a baby and being married, it's a lot more commitment for me. Having a baby has definitely affected me and Sean's sex life. All right, son, keep on going. I'll follow you. Easy. <sighs> Sean. What? You want to come up here for a minute? Hang on, I'm playing with Jaden. Just come up here. Hi. What is that? It's a sex swing. How'd you put it up there? <laughs> Actually, my mom put it Your up mom? there. Your mom? That's yeah. kind of weird. It wouldn't be a surprise if you did it, you know? Give me some sleep. All right, but I'm in the middle of playing the game. I mean, you can't pause it for a second. You know how Jaden gets. I'm just saying we don't really have, like, you know, too much opportunity, so. Playing, and I don't want to interfere with that, but damn, like, what about us? Like, now we have a chance. What's like, and you're just. It's a long day. Like, I'm just trying to relax a little bit. I wasn't trying to be like all done to you. I'm literally sitting in a sex swing, and you're just like not even turned on at all. What? Nothing. I'm getting no reaction, so, I mean. What do you want? I mean, I said Nothing. You look I don't want you to say anything. I did. I said you look beautiful. <clears throat> Like, how you've been lately, you were not like that before. Like, what's going on? Nothing. Like, I just, I'm just, I've just been working a lot. I'm just tired. You're too tired just, for sex because you can go I'm play video to... games? Like, you don't go from having sex like we did to not having sex at all. It's weird. Like, what, did you just marry me and then that's it? Like, no. you don't care anymore? You know, I got a baby and I'm, and I'm trapped and you don't have to try anymore? Don't even be like that. Don't even say that. That's not well, even That's cool. how it feels. Like, I just can't, I feel like I can't win. Like, I'm trying to take care of you. I'm trying to make sure that I'm there for my kids when they want me to play. Like, All like, I've ever asked you to do is make time for me, too. And I when? do. Just right now, I'm just in the middle I have literally doing... not seen you all day, and out of all days, this is the day you want to pick to go downstairs and, and play a game. I'm trying to be there for my kids, and I'm trying to be there for and, you. And I'm, I'm not... trying to mix it all up, and, and it's hard with, with working all the time. No, that's how it, just that's done. how it just is go, with you. Do whatever you're doing. I'm done. I feel like being a, a husband is a lot different than, you know, just being a boyfriend, just because now I feel like all the responsibilities, you know, on me as being a husband, you know, to make sure I provide for Sarah and the baby. It's just so stressful. Sarah wants the attention, and I wish I could give her the more time that we need, but I have eight kids to think about. I need to find that balance. Hey, sorry about that. Are you there? Yeah, sorry. At this point, I can't even honestly remember the last time that me and Sean did have sex. It's like we've already been married for 20 years. I don't want to be in a relationship where I'm the only one putting in effort. Like, who, who the f wants to be in a relationship with herself? I would be just better. It's like being alone. I don't see anything being wrong. Like, I just think that. Right now, we're just, you know, having a little issues. Hi. I'm just meeting someone at the bar. OK. Hey. Hey. No, I'm not drinking. Let me get my drink over here. Are you drink yeah, drink a little drink over there. Okay, Tell me what's going on in your life like today. What's up? Eric, he lost his house and his kid. What do you mean, like lost it? The house was not in his name. It was in the mother's name, the mother-in-law's name. She went to court without him and he didn't show up. So the judge ruled it in her favor. 
The past couple months of my life has been exhausting. My life has been full of Eric and his drama. He has this ex that is just, can't just get a normal, like, divorce. It has to be all this extra every day. To some, sometimes it's like, that's all it is, is her all day. All the time, 24 seven, is making me sick and it's driving me insane. And I'm turning into a really angry, hateful person, pretty much. Like, what happens with the engagement? Like, what's up? He's divorced now. When y'all get married, where the by? Like, what's the plans? What's up? I don't know. I feel like my mind is so warped by trying to tell myself or find the good in the I've been through. It's like, I want him to be to be okay, and I want him to get him back to where he's okay, mentally wise, financially wise. We're like seriously in debt. How much debt are you talking about? Like probably about $50,000 in debt right now. His medical bills, the divorce attorney, our lifestyle is horrible. So, you, um, you and TC are okay? I mean, yeah, we're okay as we can be right now. Like, this whole baby thing has like, been a lot. Like, this heartbroken. This is literally the hardest thing I've ever been through in my life. It's like a lot to deal with. If I didn't have TC there for me and like the kids and I wasn't doing these things, like I don't know what the f I would have done. I don't know. All the been hard, like really hard. I don't know how better to describe it. I had an abortion because they were saying it's going to be life threatening to you and it's going to be you or your baby. With the liver condition, this could end up being fatal for me. Oh, you're more important to me, Amber. I don't want you to take a chance. The is not the answer. That's it sucks. I don't know. This sucks. It's been about three months since I had to terminate the baby. It's just been a lot of at like one time. I've gained a bunch of weight. I got depressed. I'm not feeling like where I want to be, where I'm used to being, as far as within myself. I can't say I, I wouldn't have went back to like selling dope and like doing drugs and like the bad. But I mean, like my depression probably would have been way worse. Like you know I what I mean? Wish but that he didn't like hate me and Eric. I mean, well, TC's uh, TC's ideas and He's his thoughts are based on us getting into it in front of his kids at the cookout. You know what I mean? Because you're miserable. You're not even your own damn person. You're not your own person. And I am. I have nothing. You are. He has nothing to do. As soon as they walked in the door, the party stopped. But it's the whole, you know, he's, it's based on that. It's based on those things, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. At the end of the day, Puppy will always be in my life, and I want her and TC to get along. What do you want? I don't she care. She needs a double shot of something. That she will actually drink, what? Hand sanitizer? <laughs> Bitch, hand sanitizer. That's prison talk, kidding. no. I'm just kidding. No. That's yours. I'm taking real shots, I have this You're a drunk, bitch. You they know what I'm What about your everything. liver? <laughs> Whew, that was rough. Okay. Right. Bitch, I need a ride. <laughs> Listen, let me call him to get him on the way, so. Uh, why are you trying to leave? I, what if I can't get a lift? Then you're coming to my house. I don't know what to tell you because I'm not driving anywhere. Baby. Put him on speakerphone. Can you come get me? I got up. I, I don't need And me, be, too. I don't need to be driving. She's with Michelle, puppy. He knows where I'm at, bitch. Oh, I was just making sure. I just told her she can come sleep out there on the couch. She was like, I'm going home. I said I need a ride, babe. I'm like up. I can't drive. Oh, she had an attitude about me. I'm at Sticky Cactus. Okay. I love you. All right, love you too. All right, bye. Oh, he's got an attitude? Because I want to sleep on y'all's couch? That was weird. I swear to God, he don't even talk to me like that. Oh, God, I'm not drinking this because I got to get my courage up. I'm going to put my mouth when he goes over here. I want TC to take the time to get to know who Puppy really is. I just think that he has this idea in his head and he just, you don't have time for it. It makes sense where like TC's coming from on one hand, but on the other hand, I feel like, like he's wrong. Oh, come, come on, let's go smoke. We'll call your left hand. Come on. Uh, so I can't go with you? You can't? I knew, oh. I knew you. I, I told you. Me. I already told you you can go with me. I'm not going there. I'm unwelcome. <laughs> Bitch, I sent you home to my mother's house when she didn't even know you from prison. I sent your ass home to my mother's house, gave up my parole address, and I can't stay on your couch because TC said, don't want me. Staying on your couch. I gotta go home anyway. Don't be hating. You'll be in trouble if you go. I'm about to turn into like super bitch all the time. I'm not taking nobody. Look, he's trying to start right now. Look at him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on.
Come on. Don't hurt me, because I can't handle it. Lindsay! No. I feel like I'm back in the cycle of toxic relationships. I can't deal with this. Obviously, I don't know him as well as I thought I did. Come on, I'll get in. <gasps>I'm trying to get a gift. Can y'all help me get a gift, man? She like makeup. There, she like candles. She like perfume. What'd she get you? She give me some things. A lot of things. Oh, that's nice. Oh, here. Here got your gift right here, Bookie. Man, this one well, smells that. great. Do you have this one in, in, yeah. in smaller the size, no, though? She size. doesn't deserve this size. Yeah. That's this weird. stuff costs way too much. No, it's not. This is yes, it is. Hell, we just like her. I just like her as a woman because as a woman, I'm a um, woman. Me and too. I, I, we are, I, I believe. They're not adding any value to each other. She's not adding any value. To I'm each like, other. She should stay in Chicago and never come back. Yeah. You should get something that stinks so when she spray it, nobody gonna want to talk to her. <laughs>
Well, now I kind of want to know who called you. It's one of my friends. Well, which one? We're about to have a baby together. I feel like your friends should be my friends, so what yeah. friend? Do you? Yeah. Here, let's pick your end up. Turn. Babe, if my phone would have went off, I would have handed it right to you if you would have asked me. I wouldn't if your have phone would have went off, I wouldn't have even asked for it because I trust you. You would have asked me who it was. Yeah, and you would have said something and I would have left it at that. But you didn't say something. You said literally. I did say something. A lie. I ain't got time for this bull I'm telling you right now. I don't really know what Chance has been doing on his phone, um, but he's seeming kind of secretive. I really need to figure out what's going on right now, and I need more information. Well, I'm gonna go get some food. Yeah, bye, Felicia. You turn a dollar to a honey, then a five to a fifty quick, with no problem. It's still, like, surreal to me that you're even here. Why? Just went so long without you being here. Oh. So, right. <laughs> you want to sit on my lap or something? <laughs> you know what happens when I sit on your lap. <laughs> Baby. Anyways, we had such a good day and everything. When I was talking to my mom, watching you with the kids is supposed to be a good thing. You know, that's, that's what I wanted. I wanted somebody who wants to be active with my children and everything, right? But I just got, like, so sad. Mm. Amen. It makes me think about how long they've waited to do something like that. All these years where they've been overlooked by the people that were supposed to do it with them. They've got ignored for a really long time, and it's affected them. It's affected Santana a lot. You know, when you say that you're going to show up at a certain time from whatever it is that you're doing, you're going to take them to go play basketball, and you show up and you, and you take them at that time, that's a big deal to him. He doesn't believe in people very easy, and neither do I. Being a single mom is the hardest job in the world. It's been the hardest thing that I've ever had to do. You know, I try to give my kids all of me. I try to give them the best. I even overcompensate for the things that they don't have. But I know at the end of the day, no matter how much I give, no matter how much I try, I'm never going to be able to fill that hole, that void that they have from their missing parent. And it sucks. There's like a part of me that just doesn't let the guard down. Like, it's like I'm afraid. I'm afraid to, like, let you fully in. This is, like, leftover residue from somebody else. You know what I mean? I understand what you're saying. And I should be insulted because you're supposed to feel, like, relieved. Like, yes, like, I finally made a right decision. I'm giving you the best version of me right now. Mm -hmm. Like, when you go through all the I went through and your kids see it and your kids go through hell and back, it's like, it was really, really, really bad. I haven't had great relationships in my past. There was a lot of physical and verbal abuse going on. There's a lot of hurt that I hide. There's a lot of pain that I hide. I was deprived of things like food, of a place to sleep. Listen, listen, look at me, come here. Listen. You're not deprived of any of those things now. You think you're ever gonna have to worry about food or a place to sleep with me? I mean, you see how I am. You see how much I've got done from behind a wall. Now I would say, what do you think I'm gonna do now that I'm in the free world? It's just like, I feel like I can't rely on someone too much. Like, I, like, do you know what I mean? Like, as much as I want to fully lean into you, it's like, it's hard for me because, like, what about when I do? What about if something goes wrong? What is going to go wrong? I don't know. That's a thing. Nothing, probably. It's not, that's why I say it's not you, it's me. You're just scared because it feels so good. You don't want to lose it. I get it. 
I never had nothing good before besides my kids. You're not gonna lose it. Just continue to do what you do. Continue to be how you are. She never told me about these things. And I'm just happy that she was able to be transparent with me because now I'm able to see that she really is her and that she really needs my support. Because the fact of the matter is, if she's broken, I'm broken. Don't hurt me because I can't handle it. And because I love you so much, I would be devastated. Agreed on moving forward, so we good. Come back to the hotel with you. Make up sex. Of course, but I need you to sit down. But you gotta tell me now. Nah. I'm late. Are you almost ready, Monique? Yes. Yeah, you look nice. Makeup. Makeup. I feel good. Like, I'm excited to see Derek. You don't want us to have behind the cars? Under the cars? <laughs> I'm hoping to see a real change in Derek. Because I really do want to believe that he actually loves me. Oh, that's nice. I'm feeling nervous. I'm not a butterfly type guy. I haven't had butterflies in so long. But having like being nervous, anxious, and excited all in one, that's a good, that's a good sign. I just want everything to go right. Hey big mama, how you doing? Hey. Finally made it, huh? <laughs> Looking good. Hey. Good. You miss me? Yeah, I miss you. Miss you too. Got something for you. Got some roses for you. Got some candles. This is a candle for you. Now you know I love candles. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the way that smells. Who helped you pick up this candle? You won't believe it. Oh, Rihanna. Really? She's the one that really like this right here. They was all for us making up? Not really, but I'm just. To do something nice for me? Yeah, there's a few nice things. It's a lot more things I'm going to do to make things right. We love each other, and love don't hurt. Love is good. So do you feel like your love has been good to me? Like, do you feel like your behavior since you've been out was good? In the beginning, yes. But at the end of the day, I'm, I made a mistake. I'm, I, I may never say that was I shouldn't have did that. And I was tempted, and I let temptation get the best of me. I mean, I'm listening to what you're saying, but it's like, how do I know you're not going to be tempted again? That's over with. That's done. That wasn't like a, I wasn't in a relationship with her. I'm not in love with her. I love you. So was it just her or yeah. others too? It, it was, that was just her. That was just with her. I said, it's over with. Like, it's done and over with. I don't even want to talk about it no more. It's over with. I cheated after she went back to Chicago. Let me show you something else, bro. This is what was chasing me last night, bro. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I had in jail when y'all sent me messages. Was that Who girl? got that? <laughs> That's a girl who chased me. But I don't want to go into detail. I'm done with. I'm with you, I love you. It's us against everybody. Like, let's be like that. Let's think about that. I'm gonna put that behind us. Wanna have a family together. It's what you wanted, right? When I was locked up. Yeah. All right then. But Derek, you wasn't straight up and honest with me. Like I had to go the old call log, get phone records. I had to do the most to figure out what it is that you was doing. Just be honest and just be like, you know, you can't do long distance. We could be friends. But that's not what you really want. And that's not really what I want. We got to just rebuild the trust. Start start over again. So after today, it's a clean slate. That's, that's what I'm basically saying. You and your heart of heart, you ready to put that behind us? I want to put it behind us. All right, me. then. My family, like, what they were saying was disrespectful and with you were saying with the respectful. I just want all that to be dead too. I ain't gonna do a lot, like all that animosity, all that hate. <clears throat> okay, so if it'll make you feel better, we could sit down and talk and we can see where it go. 
I don't think we'll ever get to that place of being around each other and not arguing, just because they're so drama-filled. I don't care to get along with people who said mean and nasty things about me. Like, I don't care to. So we good? Come back to the hotel with you? Mm-hmm. And make up sex? Of course. But I need you to sit down. But you gotta tell me now. So part of the reason why I came out here, too, is because... I'm late. My period. Get the f out of here. I can't deal with this. Lazy, get in the truck. No! You're being stupid. Just leave me the f alone. Say no more. <laughs> I say hi. Say hello. Hello. Like, what do you mean? What do you say? say no, because I feel like he don't like me. He knows you went for the same thing as me. Whatever. He scrutinizes every single little thing I did. Of course, he thinks worst case scenario. Look, he's trying to start right now. Look at him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love him. Shut up. Shut the I don't do. Tell me how much you love Come him. Here. Okay. That's I really do. Damn. Look, you got me out of the bed. Cause I need to ride. I'll up. Yeah, all right. Are you? Yeah. Hey. How you doing? Hi, I'm Puppy Michelle. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> Don't, I know that Don't act funny. I know. Don't I'm just act saying. funny. I'm happy that y'all are together. No, that's cool. And I appreciate your goodness to her. I really do. But I just don't like it because you don't like me. I don't. So I'm. I want to change that. All right. Well, you know, it's not that I don't like you. You don't. Know I really me. don't like most people. That's oh, just to yeah, be honest. That's, he's I don't not either. Funny. Just to be. Well, he's I, not funny. That's not. He's not I even being funny. This is how you guys for real don't like nobody. It's listen, short, listen, listen, small listen, 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 listen. Ain't with the bull. I'm not either. Period. I'm really not. I'm not with the bull. Period. I'm really not. Because I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm gonna make no. it awkward every no, time I, I see you if yeah. you don't accept me. I mean, this isn't really an awkward situation for me because I understand where TC's coming from. On the other hand, though, I feel like that's my friend. And I want all of us to be able to chill together. I love her, yeah. for real, and your children. And I'm sorry that that happened in front of them. I was really, tr that's what my intentions were not for that not to happen. I but I really am sorry for that. And um, I don't want us to be not good. No. We good. OK. And I'm not a drug dealer, for real. So don't think that. I mean, I don't, I don't ever really think I thought you were, like, just a oh, okay. drug dealer. You know what I mean? But I nah, know. it's all good. TC thinks that me and Eric are drug dealers because he doesn't know us, so he thinks we're drug dealers. I don't why, And he don't think that we're good for Amber. Listen, stop judging us. You know, we came a long way to not be drug dealers, OK? just. Be cool. Can we like do a little group hug? Like I love y'all. A group hug? Yeah, yeah. Hug each other. Oh, damn, God, hug damn. each other. Yes. Yeah. Aw. Jesus. Yes. Okay. Okay. She's she's been drinking, so you gotta watch her. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, next time I'm coming over and like making myself at home and eating your food out of the refrigerator. To my Come crib. On. Yeah. To, to your the crib. house. Yeah. To your yeah. crib. Yeah. I want to hug you because I love okay. you. I, I love miss you. you. I love you. My Uber's here. I gotta go. Yeah. I love All you. Right. Call me tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Bye. It's good seeing you again. It was good to see you. Um, yep. Yep. You, Next you time. You forget my name already? No. Transitional. Right. Center. <laughs> TC. My opinion pretty much still stands after uh, talking to Puppy. I don't want to be friends with her. Amber can be friends with Puppy all she wants. I'm not going to tell her who she can and can't be friends with. But, you know, you got to choose and pick your friends wisely. And uh, if somebody ain't good for you, you know, no reason to have them in your life. Uh, still kind of awkward. That's OK. Uh, I meant her. It's going to take 15000 to me before I lift a finger on this. Are you serious? Thank you so much, Tyler. <laughs> Shh.
he dropped this on me, like, right now, like, he just dropped this on me. Like, that, you don't, I don't have that money. Like, we, like, all that money has gone into the house. Like, all of my money has gone into my kid and the house, and not having money is a trigger for me. <laughs> um, because when I get freaked out, I just want to do something. And when I just do something, I go back to prison. So that's obviously not going to work. But this is serious. When you died it as a habitual. I'm glad we're here getting taken care of now. So this is the next step that needs to happen. Yeah. 15,000, what it takes for my freedom. And I guess I'll have to handle that. I don't know what I'm going to do if he goes to prison. Like, Blaine has been like my rock through my recovery. Like, everything is with Blaine. Like, my work is with Blaine. Like I, like, I live with Blaine. Like, I'm with Blaine all the time. Like, I don't even know how to be out in the real world without Blaine. I've never had to be out in the real world without Blaine. At the end of the day, my goal is to keep you home. OK? I can't deal with this. Like, I picked Blaine because I felt like Blaine was better for me, and he was honest with me, and he was there for me. And now I'm like, hell, Deontay was at least honest about <laughs> Like, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve to be lied to. But I'm scared to lose him. Ridiculous. Hold up. Where are you going? Lindsay. Lindsay. No. Get in the truck. You're being stupid. Come on. No. Just, just leave me the alone. Like, for real. Come on, I'll get in. No, it says keep off the grass. Man, I ain't worried about the grass. All I'm worried about is you. Oh, oh, yeah, apparently you don't worry about any rules or laws. I chose you over Deontay, and I get this bull. Had money problems. I ain't worried about legal man. problems. All I'm thinking is maybe I didn't give myself enough time to really get to know Blaine, because obviously I don't know him as well as I thought I did. I thought this is my person that I could trust him wholeheartedly. But now I just feel like I'm back in this old cycle of like toxic relationships and maybe I'm just, I'm rushing things because I want it so bad. And like I do want to find the person I'm supposed to be with. Lindsay, so you just going to walk to the trailer? Yes, I'm walking. Say no more. She's just straight tripping. You're getting awful fancy. You're just going to the grocery store. Sean thinks that since he married me and we have a baby, he's basically got me trapped or locked in. He's sadly mistaken. Hi. God inside. I figured as much. You're not going to let me make daddy lunch? Of course you're not. Well, good morning. Morning. I need you to uh, lunch or whatever. But we don't have any any bags, so you're gonna have to just fine. take it in your hand. All right, love you. Love you. All right, I'll talk to you later. The vibe between me and Sean right now is just, it's almost awkward. I mean, it's just another perfect example of Sean shutting down and shutting me out. Knock, knock. Come in. Where are you at, girlfriend? I'm trying to get ready, but she won't let me put her down as usual, so. Oh, that's all right. I need, I need you. I'm ya. here. What do you got to do? Finish getting ready. And then you're doing what? 
I got Hi. to um, go run some errands. It's so hard to take her doing anything, I know. you know? So I'm just... It's all good. I got to go to the store. Like, grocery store? Like, you're going to be a minute? Yeah. You're getting awful fancy. You're just going to the grocery store. You don't no, have to get that prettied up, do you? I mean, I don't, just don't want to look like crap. I really don't get to do much with myself that often. Hmm. It is what it is. Love you. Mm, Thank you so much. much. Mm. Thank you, McKim. Mama, Mama loves you. Okay, I gotta go. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Man, you're gonna hang out with Mama goes bye bye. daughter's biological father. It's been quite a while since I've seen him. I texted him last night. I guess I kind of did it impossibly because, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, me and Sean are not the best spot. And that's sad, considering we haven't been married that long. You know, I guess I was maybe looking to feel better in some way. I spent a lot of years with Anthony. He was just a very important, special person in my life, and he was the love of my life. Me and Anthony met through mutual friends that we used to get high together with. There was a lot of chemistry. Me and Anthony never really broke up. I actually went to prison, and life just, you know, broke us apart. You know, I'm really just hoping to see where he is, you know, in his life, I guess. I want to know, is he sober? You know, is he serious about being a father finally? Abby's never asked who her dad was. But at the end of the day, Abby deserves, you know, her dad. This is the first time that I'll be seeing Anthony since I've been released from prison. I do feel bad about not telling Sean that I've been texting with Anthony because Sean is not a fan of Anthony. They're basically polar opposites. But at the same time, Sean just doesn't really care about my feelings right now, so I'm getting to the point where I don't really care about his. Sometimes I don't even feel like we're married. You're not having sex with me, you're not communicating with me. I mean, you're not doing nothing. You're not even in a relationship with me, it feels like, so I'm like, it. I might be pregnant. Get the out of here. Damn. This is really what you want to argue about. No, we're, we're real. In a room. I'm done. I'm done. I'm shut it the f down. I'm telling you, shut it down. Shut the f down now. So we good. Of course. But I need you to sit down. You gotta tell me now. Nah. So part of the reason why I came out here too is because I'm late. My period. I might be pregnant. Get out of here. But it's not for sure. I didn't take a test yet. Yeah, but damn. So what you upset or? That's a lot right now. I wanted it to be like a happy reaction, hoping that I am not really having like a positive outlook on the situation. Me being fresh out, like having kids right now is going to be tough. It's going to be a challenge. That wasn't part of my plan either. Like, I wanted to wait too. But I mean, I wasn't on birth control. I can't believe this. Why are you telling me you might be pregnant? Is this like you trying to trap me in so I can have your full undivided attention? I'm thinking my head is mine. It's like, what is this about? Like, come on. So would you be upset if I am? I didn't expect it that fast, like I might be pregnant. Hearing that, like, damn. So does that change things? No, it don't change nothing. I just didn't want to, I don't want to rush it. And I told you that before. I wasn't prepared for it, that's all. I wasn't prepared for it either. It's, it's going to be cool. It's 
I'll be cool. I had like a drink and a half there. Oh really? Yeah. You gotta, you gotta think about this health issue you got. You know? I mean, literally, I just went back and did the, after the baby thing. I yeah. went back. I did blood blood work. What do they say? Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Well, that's a dumbass doctor. Now this don't make no sense to me. TC is a little concerned because I just lost his baby. Like I said, the hardest thing I've ever been through in my life. Do I drink? Yes, I'm allowed to drink. I don't hide that. That was never my problem before, though. It was getting high on hard drugs, meth specifically. I'm not going back to that. I just can't. I, I, I can't do that. Are you, like, mad? Because you seem, like, really irritated with me. I'm not mad. It, it, it might be just the whole every time around puppy irritates me. Like, literally, when you called me on the phone, yeah, I think that's why I kind of got irritated. Just, I can't, I heard Because I could have sworn and you I told said her, she was coming over I did to the say house. that, and like, I told her, I was like, when I hung up, I was like, I was like, that was weird, because he don't ever talk to me like that. I was like, that's not even, we don't even talk like that. And she was like, he said that because of me. I was like, I don't know, maybe because he don't talk to me like that. No, I mean, I and thought you was trying it. to, like, throw that on me. I, I would have been really pissed. I don't care if you hang out with her or go and chill, but like here in my domain, yeah. I don't see it happening. Yeah, I hear you. You know what I mean? It's just like she just throws out that she's not a drug dealer. I mean, I don't know if I've necessarily called her a drug dealer, but you know what I mean? Like, uh, I mean, let's just keep it real. Like, Weren't they just drug dealers? I mean, maybe not today. They might have not have sold dope yesterday. Is that not what they did? I mean, you're the one that told me, man. You're the one that told me. I told you what me and Puppy went to prison for. Yeah. I told you what he went to prison for. I told you what was going on, and that's all I know, is where they come from, they come from the same place I do. And that's all I know, because outside. That's that's not what you said, though. I didn't tell you that. Yeah. That is not what what you're saying right now. That's not what I told you. Yeah. That's no, it is not. Real. Yeah. I said what well, the kind of life they lead when I was working, I learned to work all the time. It's a different life than what I lead. That's what I told you. Explain. That's to me. what I told Explain you. Explain to me how. This is really what you want to argue about. No, we're for real. A real. For real. No, listen. No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not doing this. I'm oh, done. Oh, Done? I'm not. We're You're talking about sending people to prison, and that's not. I'm not doing that. I'm done. You had a lot more than one drink. You're talking about sending people to prison. You said it. You said it. You said it. I'm done. What they be done? You can go with them. Yeah. You can go with them. You leave this bitch. Go with. I pay bills. You're be done for. You leave this bitch. Get the. Hey, you got me. Twice. I'm telling you. This season on Life After Lockup. Open your eyes. What the f We are going to Las Vegas. You can always sleep with us. Does that come with benefits? Get the f off, oh, God. We're going to meet a special friend of mommy's. She looks just like me. She sure does. I feel like you did my sister wrong. That's not going to end well. I don't know if I should be worried or pissed off. Watch out, f up. What you need from me is what you want when you want it, and f my ways. I've never asked you to help me. Take what you take get. what I get. I'm not your catch anymore. What is this? I want you to f me every night. I just told you, don't lie to me. Don't keep things from me. Respect my boundaries. Oh. A lot of unhealed wounds are breaking open. Get the table down. No, no, no. You got I kind of like watching your burn. What's up? Bro, why wouldn't you tell me? I I knew it. That's the only good. I'm scared. <laughs> it was just so much easier in prison.